Magpapatotoo muna po. Magpapatotoo muna po ako. Um, I just wanted to thank God for His um, failing love, His grace sa aming, bu- sa aming buong buhay. Um, He's blessed us with a baby boy. Alam ko pong baby boy po yung pinagpipray po ni Mili. Pinagpipray ko po si girl talaga. So ayun po. Um, yesterday we we saw the face of the baby and uh, tutuwa po ako na kuha niya po yung ilong. <coughs> ayun po. And um, ayun din po. Pagpapasalamat din po sa Panginoon because um, God had allowed us to travel to Phnom Penh. He has uh, allowed Uh, us to travel together with us together with both of our families yung um, natapos din po yung civil wedding and I have also renewed my passport so we thank the Lord for that and sa safety po sa travel sa travel po namin it's uh, masaya po yung time po na yun. it's uh, it's good to always have a getaway trip and just to I don't know to break our daily routine And uh, we thank we thank God for that, and please uh, continue to pray for us. Because po, um, it's just a few months away. Na makakaron po kami ng isang um, member pa po ng family. It's a uh, different adjustment na naman po because uh, having and having having a wife is a different adjustment than having a baby and um, baby wife. Yung po. Um, ayun lang po um, and then continue to pray for Mili po sa sa check up niya naman po yesterday everything is fine and um, ayun po natutuwa po ako may leg po yung baby tsaka mahaba po yung ano yung legs so tayo po tayong lahat um, nakawala yata yung sound <coughs> and let's um, open our Bibles in the book of Joshua <coughs> chapter 7 po And may I, ask, may I ask everyone to please read from verse 1 to verse 5. Please say aloud, Amen, if you found it. Amen. So Joshua chapter 1, verse, verses 1 to 5. Let's read this all together. But the children of Israel committed trespass in the cursed thing for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zirah, tribe of Judah took off the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Beth Haven. And said unto him, Let not all the people go up, But let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai, and make not all people to labor thither, for they are but few. So there went up thither of the people about three thousand men, and they fled before the men of Ai. About say smote of them thirty and six men, for they have chased them from before the gate, even unto Sherebim. And smote them in the going down, wherefore the hearts of the people melted and become, became as water. Let's all pray. God, thank you for this day that you've given us for the time, Lord, that uh, we can come to you, um, study your word, worship you. Uh, may you bless this time. We can study, we can uh, meditate to your word, uh, give wisdom to, to your people to, and to the instrument you're going to use. Um, we cannot do this by our own strength, but uh, we trust that you will be Uh, that you will provide wisdom. And uh, we, ask, we ask all these things in Christ's precious name. Amen. May all be seated. Bob. So we, um, we, we know this, um, this account as, uh, we, we, we label this account as uh, the sin of Achan. But um, there's, there's more to it than just the sin of Achan. And um, this, this, chap, this story, the account that we just read, came um, at the very um, early stage of Joshua's reign, uh, Joshua's term over Israel because this time Moses was already dead. Uh, but God, uh, God's promise is still with Israel and God's, because Israel is still the chosen people of God. And uh, yes, so, so we can see, uh, l- l- we'll, um, we'll go through from Joshua chapter 1 till Joshua chapter 8 very um, quickly. 
And um, on, on Joshua chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, God has reiterated His promise over Israel. And uh, can you please uh, flash Joshua 1, 2 and 3? Yes. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people unto the land which I do, which I do, which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. So, it's very clear here that the promise of God, the victory is already given, but it's very, um, it's very different to what we just read because to what we just read, the Israel fell upon the, the small place of Ai. And, and it's actually the same thing with us because God has already promised us victory, but then um, the fall of Israel was simply just because of disobedience. And, um, and but, but prior to this, to this account, God had given, uh, no, prior to this account, Israel had, uh, has been victorious and Israel went um, over the river of Jordan and then Joshua led them to enter the promised land. And now the very first city was Jericho and we all know Jericho is a very mighty city during this time and um, we know this the Je Jericho is known uh, the walls of Jericho is actually their strongest stronghold and we know from our study from the book of Nehemiah that walls are very important it's actually impossible for a city to ha to to not have any walls and it's 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 a uh, very foolish of them if they don't have walls and the city of Jericho has strong walls and um, Israel um, was victorious over over the city of Jericho. Why? Because simply they didn't um, rely on their strength. They relied on 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 God's promise and God's um, instructions. And we, I think, um, the past few months, uh, a preacher um, uh, preached about the story of Rahab, and we know that uh, Israel had help from actually from probably. The l whom they least most expected the help from, from a harlot, from a very sinful uh, man, not even from, from the tribe of Israel. And uh, we, we, we know that uh, it, it was Rahab, and um, he, uh, she, she hid the, the two spies that uh, Joshua had sent to, to Jericho. And uh, God simply wanted to to tell Israel that y you won't be able to use your own strength, you won't be able to use your own um, abilities to, to capture the city of Jericho. Instead, God use, uses the, basics, the base things of this world and it, for, for our finite mind, it's, it's ridiculous how, how they simply just conquered the city of Jericho by simply just roaming around um, the walls of Jericho with a trumpet carrying uh, the Ark of the Covenant, and we and God has um, actually, uh, the Bible has uh, mentioned that the city at uh, the walls are very high, and then just on the seventh day they just roam around the city of Jericho, the walls of the Jericho seven times, and just blew the trumpet, and the walls just came flat, uh, fell flat, and. Um, And yes, and Israel was actually, uh, God had instructed Israel very simple instructions. And uh, from the account that we read, in nga yung si Achan, here comes the sin of Achan. Now, in verse 1, but the children of Israel committed a trespass. And the accursed thing for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took the accursed thing. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. So God had uh, instructed Israel to destroy everything uh, sa Jericho. I, uh, lahat ng mga tao patayin, lahat ng um, um, mga tupa, mga kahayupan, patayin din. And then, the simple instructions was to, to take all the silver, gold, and vessels of brass and iron because it's going to be kept for the treasury of God, and that's where uh, 
the sin of Achan came because of um, his greed. Um, yun yung pinaka parang highlight ng fall ng ng Israel from the uh, from the land of Ai. But then I believe um, it was not just because of Achan, but also Joshua also had his um, fault, and we can see. Um, from verse 6, na Joshua being in the heat of victory, he noticed that there is a city nearby called Ai, a very insignificant city. And in result, and, res and in result, he sent men to spy and check the country of Ai. In verses 3 and 4. And they returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all, all the people go up, and let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai, and make not all the people to labor thither, for they are but few. So there went up thither of the people about 3,000 men, and they fled before the men of Ai. So Joshua had uh, Joshua commanded um, the people of Israel to just send 12, uh, 3,000. But then later on, uh, sa chapter 8, makita natin na actually yung kalaban nila is 12,000. So just, just um, imagine yung um, overconfidence ni, ni Joshua here. So and then um, so Joshua had this fault because number one he didn't consult God about about AI he, he, there was no account na kinonsult ni Joshua ang Panginoon about attack uh, on the attack of AI and he was very hasty with his decision and uh, lastly there was no prayer so um, the defeat of Israel at the hands of AI a very insignificant city a very small city actually um, defeated Israel. So in verse 11, um, God had uh, had informed Joshua that, that there is sin in the camp. So Israel had sinned and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them for they have even taken of the accursed thing and have also stolen and, dis and dis disassembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff. So this is the, the sin of Achan, yung tinago na ni Achan yung mga silver, gold, and uh, uh, vessels of iron sa kanyang tent. And it was very stupid of Achan because if you just read on, verse, on chapter 8 that um, when they conquered the city of Ai, God had allowed them to, to get all the wealth of AI, and if if he could only just wait for a couple of days, everything would be fine. Achan would still be alive during this time, and uh, be just because of Achan's sin, a lot has been affected. Lahat ng yung three thousand ayon namatayon, and um, the death of Achan's family, and um, yung mga ari ari anya, and uh, Israel is affected. So sin is very contagious. Not and um, sin won't only affect the sinner itself, but it will also affect our surroundings. Yung mga mahal natin sa buhay, and um, it will it will affect us. It will affect us. And um, and here, um, nothing good comes out of sin, and all this boils down because we love ourselves more than we love God. In Romans seven verse eighteen, Apostle Paul said. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. And if we only allow our sinful nature, then nothing will happen. Knowing that there is an alternative, God has already made us promises. And for us Christians, we only need to claim that promise by, by just having our availability and having our obedience to God. And... Um, God has entrusted us um, to do good things. Katulad nga nung na-share sa atin kahapon na to, to hold fast on the good things. And um, God has, um, God wanted us to, to, to continue maturing in, in our faith and to continue doing, doing good things in His ministry and make sure that we always converse with God. And um, yung, I, I, I forgot who, who mentioned this, but Yung sinabi niya is uh, perfect communication with God is through um, prayer and reading and meditating in His Word. Yun lang po. And, uh, um, let's pray. Thank you, God, for um, this time that you've given us. Thank you.